All right, everyone, the question says, what is the theoretical yield of Li3N, lithium nitride, in grams when 12.3 grams of Li, lithium, are heated with 33.6 grams of N2, nitrogen? And then second part of the question says, if the actual yield of Li3N is 5.89 grams, what is the percent yield? So this is a two-part question where in the first part or the first question we're going to take the masses of our two reactants we have 12.3 grams of lithium and 33.6 grams of nitrogen we're going to take both of those masses and do a limiting reactant stoichiometry problem to calculate our theoretical yield then in the second question we're going to take that theoretical yield with our actual yield, which the problem says is 5.89 grams, and we're gonna calculate our percent yield. So let's set up the first question where we're doing our limiting reactant stoichiometry. So we need the masses of both of our reactants where we have 12.3 grams of Li, and then we also have 33.6 grams of N2. We are going to multiply each of those by three conversion factors because we're going mass of a reactant to mass of a product. And that takes three steps. So we're going to multiply those each by three steps to get our final answer for mass or grams of Li3N that we could produce. Now, because this is a limiting reactant problem, we're only gonna get one of these answers, whichever one is less. Okay, so let's set up the first problem. So we are starting with grams of lithium. So we need to get rid of that, which means it's gonna go on the bottom of our first conversion factor, and we can convert grams to moles of lithium. So we need the molar mass of lithium, and looking at the periodic table, that is 6.94. So one mole is 6.94 grams for lithium. And we did that so that our units of grams of lithium cancel. And now we have moles of lithium. So we can keep going from there. We want to get rid of moles of lithium and turn that into moles of Li3N, our product that we're trying to convert to. So we need, for the second step, our coefficients, which are our mole ratios. So for every six moles of lithium, we're going to produce two moles of lithium nitride. So our coefficient on the bottom of our second conversion factor is going to be six, because that is in front of lithium. And then on top, we're going to have two, because that is the coefficient of lithium nitride and moles of lithium will cancel at this point, giving us moles of lithium nitride. And then last step, we will turn those moles of lithium nitride into grams of lithium nitride. So we need the molar mass of lithium nitride. So we're gonna have to calculate that number. So to get the molar mass of lithium nitride, we're gonna do three times the molar mass of lithium plus one times the molar mass of nitrogen. So just another N there. So three times the molar mass of lithium. Lithium is again 6.94 and that is grams per mole. And then we're gonna add the molar mass of nitrogen and just one of them, so 14.01. Do the math there and we get the molar mass of lithium nitride is 34.83 and units are grams per mole. So for our third conversion factor, we're gonna have one mole on the bottom and 34.83 grams on top. Our units of moles of lithium nitride cancel. And now we can solve this problem using our calculator. We are going to start with 12.3 and we're going to multiply by the top and divide by the bottom of each fraction, skipping any ones because they won't change our number. 
So we're going to then divide by 6.94. We're going to multiply by 2, divide by 6, and then multiply by 34.83. Hit enter, and your calculator says 20.5768015. Let's round that to, let's say, three significant figures, so we would get 20.6. So, for our first part of the stoichiometry, we get 20.6. Now, that would be if all 12.3 grams of lithium were to react, but we have to do the other stoichiometry problem to see if that actually happens. So, down in the second part, first conversion factor, the bottom we're going to have grams of N2 because that is what we're starting with here for this particular reactant. And then we can turn that grams of N2 into moles of N2. And we need the molar mass of N2. So for the molar mass of N2, that is just going to be 2 times the molar mass of nitrogen. So two times, looking at the periodic table, 14.01, and that is grams per mole. So solving that, we get 28.02 grams per mole. So that is what we will use in our first conversion factor. We will have one mole on top and 28.02 grams on the bottom, and this makes grams of N2 cancel, and we're at moles of N2. Second conversion factor is our mole ratios. So on the bottom, we're gonna have the units of moles of N2, and we're gonna have moles of Li3N on top. So looking at our chemical equation, we look at N2, and in front of N2, there is nothing. That is because there is an implied one there. It's just one N2 for this certain chemical reaction. So we don't write it, but we will write that in our conversion factor in the bottom for moles of N2. And then looking again at lithium nitride, our product, we see that it has a coefficient of two. So that will go up top, our second conversion factor. And then for the third step, it's gonna be exactly the same as above. So this third conversion factor there is gonna be the exact same as the one down here. And that's because we're going to the same product. There's only one product and, and that's what we're calculating for both of these instances. So I'm just gonna copy that back down. So 34.83 grams of lithium nitride on top. And that is for one mole of lithium nitride on the bottom. And then we can cancel out all our units, moles of N2, moles of N2, moles of Li3N, moles of Li3N, and then we are left with exactly the units we want, which are grams of lithium nitride. So now we can punch this in our calculator and solve. So we're going to start with 33.6 and then divide by 28.02. We will multiply by two, and then multiply by 34.83. It equals, and our calculator says 83.5323305. Let's round that to, again, three significant figures, and we will get 83.5 and that is how many grams of lithium nitride we would get if all of our 33.6 grams of nitrogen would react but we're not going to get that we're going to end up with getting 20.6 grams of lithium nitride because that is less than 83.5 Okay, for limiting reactant problems, you always go with the lesser of the two values. Because once we produce 20.6 grams of lithium nitride, all of my 12.3 grams of lithium is gone. So we have no more lithium to react to produce more of our product. Okay, so for the second part of this question, we're again using the actual yield 
which the problem is gonna tell us is 5.89 grams. And then we're gonna use that to calculate our percent yield. So we need the formula for percent yield. So percent yield is equal to your actual yield over your theoretical. So basically, of how much you could have gotten, how much did you actually get? And then we're gonna turn that into a percent by multiplying by 100. So our actual yield is again in the problem, it is 5.89 grams. Experimentally in lab in real life, that's what we actually recovered from this experiment. And then our theoretical yield is going to be 20.6 grams. And that is what we got from our limiting stoichiometry problem. So we're gonna divide those two, multiply by 100, and we should get around 28.6%. Okay, so final answer. What is the theoretical yield if you had 12.3 grams of lithium and 33.6 grams of nitrogen in the following chemical equation? We would get 20.6 grams of lithium nitride. And then second part, what would be the percent yield if you got 5.89 grams? Well, we would have a percent yield of 28.6%. All right, if you wanna see another example, click in the top right. Please like this video if it helped you in any way. Feel free to look in the doobly-doo below for additional help and resources. Please subscribe and ring the bell to get notified for new videos. And thank you, thank you so much for watching.